Hi ladies, I'm here with you today and I have Miss Ty Ann. Ty Ann Walks in Beauty is her full name and she is my um, full body um, silicone baby by Andrea Cello. And I have been doing a few videos with her. I got her off Miss Iris Johnson, adopted her from her. So I'm just holding her up and she's a big girl. She weighs 10 pounds, three ounces. So I'm gonna change her today and I will sit her back up and let you see her outfit. Like I said, I'm very careful with this baby girl. She's heavy. She's not the easiest one to change. So I'm just turning her to her side here. She's not the easiest baby to change because she's a big girl and she has a little bit of issues with her paint. And if y'all saw some of my last videos, y'all see that I um, got quite a good haul for her. I sent a lot of nice clothes and I also went to the thrift store. Oh my gosh, it's really not easy. I learned to have to learn to how to change her. I kind of like have a different thing for each baby depending on what they're made out of and depending on how big they are. The preemies aren't easy to change either sometimes. So I'm just pulling this dress down. I don't want to pray over her head, so I'm bringing it over her big old thighs. She's got some big legs. Chunky rolls. So I know it looks maybe like I'm being rough with her, but I'm really not. Woo. And since we're putting a dress on her, I won't have to take her um, shoes off, I don't think. Hopefully not. We'll see. And this is what I was taking off of her. It's a nice little light pink dress. I love that dress. I found this at a thrift store too. And we're going to put this bow on her. Or not bow, but it's a flower that band, headband. I'm going to put that on her. I hope you all are doing well today. I'm doing really good. And this is the dress we're going to put on her. I just love it. I don't know if y'all be able to see it too good. It's like a knit top, and it's like a, maybe like a peach or off-white color at the top. It's, I mean, it's all one piece, but the top is like knit. Well, actually, it's not all one. Yeah, it's sewn. And look at the bottom. Can y'all see? Look at these pretty lace. It looks Victorian to me, like style. Pretty lace. And then we've got, there's bell sleeves. So pretty. And this flower is attached. Not crazy about that red flower, but I checked it and it is attached, so I, it would mess up the dress if I took it off. I kind of would like it without the dress, I mean, without the um, red flower, but it's okay. So there she is. She's all in her diapy, and I have decided I'm pretty much going to keep cloth diapers on her, because I think it would help her silicone. You know, as you know, she has some peeling issues. She has some dry skin, so... I'm going to keep her in the cloth diapers. I think that will help a lot. And she's going to keep her diaper on. And I guess she can keep that on for a minute. So we're going to figure out the best way to do this. I don't know. It's a pretty big opening. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think I might put it overhead because the opening is not huge. And... It might be just easier to put over her head. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it right over her head. So it might take me a few minutes to maneuver her arms and stuff into her clothes. Because like I said, i got to be a little extra careful with her. Because she has some issues. But don't we all have issues? I think we all got issues. At least I do. <laughs> so I'm just I'm trying to get this on. I'm being careful because it's also like a sweater material, which is not the easiest material to get on a silicone, as y'all probably know. Got that arm in. So what you think, Cayenne? Mommy's trying. What I found best with her, because she is so heavy, that I like get half of whatever her dress on or whatever, and then I, um, oh gosh, this is going to be tight. I mean, it's tight as just for me putting on. Actually, maybe not. And I just flip her to her side because she's so heavy 
And I can't just like slide it under her or whatever. I have to maneuver her a certain way. I know it looks like it might be hurting her, but I promise you I'm not. And actually I'm going to flip her over. And Iris did mention she doesn't turn her head very well, but it should be okay because mommy's just gonna leave her like that just for a minute. So she's laying on her belly. This actually fits pretty good. It'll be so adorable on her. Wait till you see this on her. I hope all of y'all are doing well today. My son was on a long spring break, and then right after that, he had teacher work days. Now he is back to school, and he's going back for four days. That is actually her thing sliding her, um, what do you call that? Change of pad. Look how pretty she looks in this. I love this. Look at this. I'm so happy it fits. It fits really nice. And the good thing about it, it doesn't rub on her little place on her neck. She's got a bad place on her neck. Besides it moving, that's annoying. But look, it fits her. I think it fits her really well. Look at that. And you can see her hands coming out under her dress. This is so, um, so this is the dress I was most excited about that I found. Let me move her up to the camera so a little bit closer so I can see. Let me take this off because that is not matched, girl. I'm gonna pull hell. Let's think all. all right, I'm gonna. Oh gosh, I don't even have her comb. I moved my combs. Oh, I regret doing that. I moved my combs into the other room, so I don't have them here. So we're gonna have for right now. I'm just gonna have to do that to her hair. Put it down. Oh, look at her. She looks so cute in this outfit. Can you believe this outfit? And look how big. That's all belly. That's her belly. That's how big her belly is. She's got a big belly. Miss Diane has a big belly. But I thought this was beautiful. Like a Victorian dress. So I'm going to go ahead and put her. Like I said, I didn't bring my soft brush. I don't have any brushes in here. But I would only use a soft brush on her hair. I don't even have that one in here, so I'm just going to use my hand and just gently do it. Like I said, her shoes that she had on still match, and they got a little bit of lace on them. I can't really see the top of them. So let's put her, I'm going to put her bow on. Not her bow, why do I keep calling her bow? It's kind of hard to do it one-handed here while I'm trying to hold her. There we go. I think it is good I put it over to this side because she has the flower on her dress on that side. She's got a lot of flowers going on. Look how beautiful this dress is. I love it. I pushed it out and that is her belly. She's got a big belly. She's I got a big belly. So there she is. And I'll talk to you just for a couple minutes. Let's see what time we have. We're still good on time so I'll talk for a few more minutes while you can look at Miss Tayan, and if you remember, I talked about, I gave her a middle name. I talked to my father-in-law, who is Native American, so I gave her the middle name Tayan Walks in Beauty. So there she is. She has her little red flower on her dress. And here's her, oh, this is a look I get over. I love this dress. It is so pretty. I love these sleeves. Can you get over these sleeves? Look at that so pretty and she is a gorgeous little girl she's a gorgeous sculpt and I'm, I'm thinking about getting her little earrings to pierce her ears but I want to get her some nice ones so I'm actually trying to get like the baby earrings or something very tiny because I don't want to mess her ears up she needs tiny delicate earrings and I want to get her some pearl ones that look like pearls so I'm gonna be on the hunt for those I saw some at one store, and I now kick myself for not getting them. I should have just got them. There, I saw. I actually saw some nice ones at Target. So next time I go there, if I can't find any before then, then I'm gonna get some for her earrings, and she'll have pearl earrings. Look, she's got a little Buddha belly, so cute. Here's her legs. She's got her cloth diaper. I'll try to show you her shoes. See, so I'm gonna lift her up. See the top of her shoe has lace on it. I don't know if you can see that, but it does. So 
she's got her pretty clothes on, her pretty dress. And I was, I really love this little girl. I'm so blessed that I adopted her from um, Miss Iris Johnson. She was very kind to let me adopt her. I've been loving on her for the last couple of years. I've seen her on Iris's channel. And her skin really does look like, you know, like when somebody gets a bad sunburn and their skin peels, that's what it looks exactly like that, or real bad dry skin. She said, it's okay, though. I plan to perhaps send her off and get her fixed up. No, she's, she's looking at a bad place on my neck there. It's okay. Look how beautiful she is. Oh, I forgot to bring it. I'll show you on the next video. I made her a passy, or I blinged out a passy, decorated passy for her. And it's a white passy, and it goes along with the Victorian theme. And, I mean, of this dress. And it ha it's a white passy, and it has a cameo, little cameo face or head in the middle of it. And it's got pink um, little stones or blingies, bling things them, around. So that's going to be her passy. It's the same passy she had on in the other video, but I blinged it out this time. So you'll be seeing that passy soon. And I just can't get over how pretty this little girl is. She's just gorgeous. I'm so happy with her. And I may be touching up the paint on her lips because I'm also a silicone painter um, artist. So I may be touching up her lips. You know, just put a little tiny bit of color on her lips. And underneath her lips, that may be from her passy that um, it's like kind of gotten white under here under her lip from rubbing it, perhaps. Not sure. So I may just add a little tiny bit of blush there and then add a little tiny bit of color, but not much. I don't want to look like she's wearing lipstick or anything. So I just wanted to come and show you Miss Tyann walks in beauty today. And she wanted to show all her aunties her new dress, her new fancy dress that she got. And I'll, she's probably going to be on my next baby sale. Um, you know, I usually have models for my sales. So I can hold the clothes up to the babies so you all, everyone can see how big the clothes are or how they fit. So I'm pretty sure Miss Tyann is going to be the next model. She'll be the next model for my um, baby clothes sale. And I'm having that on Thursday night, which is odd. I usually have it on the weekends, but I'm having that on Thursday night because... Me and my husband are celebrating our anniversary early. My son's going to be away, and we're we're going to be here at our house, but we're going to be, you know, doing stuff like going out to eat and stuff. So we'll be celebrating our anniversary early, and our anniversary is that for we've been married 22 years, and we dated two years before that. So all together, we've been together 24 years and um, married for 22 years. So, in these days, um, I think that is something special to celebrate. So, we're going to celebrate that. So, I just want to come today and tell you, show you Miss Cheyenne, Miss Cheyenne, Miss Tyann walks in beauty. I want to show you her new Victorian dress that she's wear that she has. The uh, mommy found her. So, she just wanted to say hi, aunties. She says hi to all her aunties and she misses you. And she says hi to Mommy Iris Johnson. She'll always be her first mama. And I hope to talk with you soon. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow, but maybe I'll surprise you and do something different. Like a, um, maybe I'll show a grouping of my dolls, either the fantasy or all my boys or something. I'll find a grouping of my dolls to show you. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Stay safe and stay blessed. And Tyann says, bye, aunties. She says, bye. We'll see you soon. Talk to you soon, ladies. I appreciate each and every one of you.